Well, in this question, we are dealing with a changing number of identical machines. So our, our identical machines formula, which we introduced and went over in detail a few videos ago, is likely to be the most useful combined work tool. So let's see. Let's, if we're going to use this, we've got to organize our info into the old situation and the new situation. Old situation and the new situation. So what is the old situation? Well, we are told that four machines of a certain type, dealing with four machines, four machines of a certain type can produce a total of X units of product P in six days. So these four machines can do X units in six days. Well, what's our situation after the change? Well, we're asked how many of these machines, so we don't know how many machines we're dealing with afterwards. How many of these machines can produce a total of 3x units? 3x units in 4 days. So we've almost got the situation that we want. We've got a bunch of information from before and a bunch of information for after. So we can almost plug in here. Although as we learned a few videos ago, this formula only applies directly when the, sit when the machines before the change are doing the same amount of work as the machines after the change. And right now, well, after the change, the unknown number of machines are doing 3x units. And before the change, they're only doing x units. I guess that's not a huge problem because, well, we can quickly change uh, our work to be the same for both. If, if before the change, these four machines are doing x units in six days, well, how many days will it take them to do 3x units? Well, x units in 6 days, 3x units I guess will take 3 times as long. So 3x units in 6 times 3, or 18 days. Days. And now we've got the exact situation that we want, uh, so we can, they're doing the same amount of work, and I guess we've got time for both of them, so we're only really missing one piece, so we can go ahead and plug into our our changing numbers of multiple machines formula. Let's see. Our old number of machines was four. And how long did it take them to do our job? Our job here being make three X units. Well, it took them 18 days. And our, our new number of machines, that's what we don't know, our new number. How long is it going to take them, though? Well, we know that'll be four days, and and now we're basically there. We just we've got a, a, a an equation with one variable, so let's just solve this thing. And all we really have to do is is divide both sides by four to get 18 equals our new number of machines, which is what the question's asking for. So this leads us to answer choice B.